That's to stop the Meadowlands for some football. That's right, opening weekend of the XFL on Fox. Yesterday was a good start, but now it comes to the Meadowlands. The Guardians fans are ready to go. Guardians, Vipers, coming your way next. Vipers in town, New York. That's how we coming all day. XFL, let's go. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. I know we got to do we on a mission, dog. Fight down on three. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Hey, one, two, three. Fight down. But as long as you don't question yourself, you don't doubt yourself, you don't question your teammates, you never stop believing in yourself and each other. You know what? Our competitive toughness is going to take us to win today. I have no doubt. If I could do one thing, you know what I'd do? I'd give you the win. I'd give you a gift. I'd love to do it. I can't. You guys got to go get it. Go get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In this league, it's about making the most of each opportunity. You not be the one down Today, two teams will get that chance we've been putting in the to showcase their talents, prove their worth. We can blow your mind. Absolutely sensational. And reclaim their glory we can blow your mind. between the white lines. So fast and explosive. This is the XFL. Oh, my goodness! Tampa Bay Vipers, New York Guardians. We gon' blow your mind. Next on Fox. We gon' blow your mind. It's the XFL on Fox here in the Meadowlands. The opening game for these two franchises, the Tampa Bay Vipers and the New York Guardians. Excitement in the air. Can't wait. Glad to have you aboard. Here in the broadcast booth, here's my partner, three-time Pro Bowl tight end Greg Olson, and I'm Kevin Burkhardt. So it's the opening weekend, a good start for the league yesterday, Greg, and just good feelings about uh, this game and these players in it today. Yeah, I mean, there, there's one common theme to anybody you talk surrounding this league, and they just talk about what an opportunity this is. The players, the coaches, the executives, anybody associated with the league, they're so thankful for this opportunity to be a part of this game. The XFL has given them an incredible platform to continue to pursue, pursue this dream of theirs, and uh, today's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, we have some familiar names as well, and especially with local ties. You saw it there in the beginning. Here are the New York Guardians. Their head coach is a guy the Giants fans are very familiar with, Kevin Gilbride. Matter of fact, last time he was a coach was here as the offensive coordinator for the Giants in 2013. Yeah, the one thing the XFL has done a great job of, they've, they've gotten the process of hiring these head coaches. They, they've got that down. I mean, Kevin Gilbride right here in New York, over 20-plus years of NFL coaching experience, and his best years were here with the Giants leading them to those two Super Bowls. He's the right guy to lead this New York team. He understands what it takes to build an organization, and uh, he's an impressive guy from talking to him. Yeah, and again, another name you recognize if you're an NFL fan is the quarterback, Mr. McGloin. Matt McGloin played for the Raiders, and he got some time, got some success in the league. Yeah, talking, talking with Kevin Gilbride this week, he, he made it really clear that Matt McGloin, when they listed all the quarterbacks they wanted to lead this organization in their inaugural season, Matt McGloin was at the top of that list. His leadership, his NFL experience, his maturity was all the things they were looking to be the leader, the quarterback of this Guardians organization, and uh, he's been everything they've wanted him to be, plus some. Meanwhile, the head coach of the Tampa Bay Vipers, Mark Tressman, he has been around this game for a long, long time. Most probably remember him as the former head coach of the Chicago Bears. Yeah, real interesting guy, real diverse background in the coaching world, some CFL experience, some NFL experience, like you mentioned with the Bears. He's trying to find a way to blend all of those past you know those past places and bring it all here together uh, play by these XFL rules and see if he can cultivate this offense to be the way he wants it to be but fit within the framework of this league and their quarterbacks a guy you probably know if you're a football fan as well again a local kid Aaron Murray played high school in Tampa Bay and then was tremendous at the University of Georgia. Yeah, I mean, anytime you're the all-time leading passer in, in SEC history with the all-time greats that, that that league has produced, uh, he's special. They, he blew us away yesterday in our production meeting. His knowledge, everything Tressman said about buying in and being the guy to lead this team, uh, he's been that for them. And I'm excited to see him now put it all together and, and kind of get back on his right path in his, in his uh, pro career. Third member of our broadcast crew is Jenny Taft this afternoon and she's got both starting quarterbacks how about this at midfield Jenny take it away 
All right, I'm very happy to be alongside two QBs. We're going to be hearing plenty from today. New York's Matt McGloin and Aaron Murray from Tampa. And Matt, I want to start by asking you a couple times when you were talking about coming back to the XFL, you mentioned the timing being perfect. Why? Yeah, it's just an exciting opportunity. You know, how growing up less than two hours from this stadium, having family and friends here to support my, not much myself, but our team, this organization every single week is really important to me. Um, so that's something I'm really looking forward to today. A lot of emotions today. And then seeing again, seeing my family in the stands is, doesn't get better than that. I know for you, Aaron, when we chatted yesterday, you mentioned the nerves, the excitement. How are you feeling minutes away from the start of this thing? I think a lot of excitement. Our football team's worked really hard going back to December, training camp and then mini camp there in, in Houston. And we're just excited to play someone else, you know, hit someone else on a different color jersey. So I know they're feeling the same way right now. Uh, it was a great day of football yesterday, and we're hoping for the same thing today. Okay, good luck today, guys. Kevin, we're going to see and hear from a lot of these guys today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, Jenny. And that's one of the cool things about this league. The access we will have for you today is just sensational. And also the weather today is sensational. You normally here in the Northeast, you get February, you get cold and winds. 41 is not bad. Mostly.